it is it actually working is it actually working oh my goodness it actually is working I was getting weird errors that kept telling me my stream was terminated let me see if I can stream was terminated yeah okay I can hear myself all right so anyway uh all right I I guess closing X split and reopening it was enough to make it work um I always like to send myself a little welcome message you know and also you know I do send out these announcements of that I am going to be streaming it takes a little bit to post them all so oh okay there isn't any like startup uh, well let's leave it on the screen for a second maybe it'll start a little video That's why I hadn't started the game yet. I thought there was going to be, you know, a startup video, you know, like in most of the other games, they give you something. Instead, we get what would be a pleasant view. The sky and the clouds and the meadow. If not for the looming gash in the sky. And there it is again. <laughs> I have Plushy Cyrus here. Because of course I do. Now let's see if I can... Okay. X button switches everything. Doing some stretches. I wonder what happens if you name the worm pull ahead of time because I found out you can in fact name your Pokemon. Hmm. But what to call everyone? I think I'm gonna let chat decide on that once I actually get some people in here. Now, if I remember right, we're going to run into Mai at some point. Do you close for me yet? Special parcels arrived with your name on it. From where? Is, th is this the outfit I think it is? What a precious gift! Please take good care of such fine attire. I, I just... Is, is this the outfit I think it is? Yep, there go the shoes. Is this the outfit I think it is? You can't wear this kind of item with your hairstyle the way... Yay! I could run around like this. Okay, that looks dippy. I'm just gonna wear the Survey Corps uniform for right now, but, uh... <laughs> there we go. I like how the shoes just magically appear when you cross the threshold. Check it out! Check out my brand new shoes! They're from the future. They're from the future, Silene. <laughs> Boo. 
Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to, anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. It's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once battle starts. Giving him, like, a really, like, low-breathy voice doesn't really make... It doesn't really fit what he's saying, does it? Hit a wild Pokemon from behind for a higher chance of a successful catch. <sighs> we should gain an advantage when starting a battle. The secret technique is called a backstrike. If you're part of the Survey Corps now, working to create that Pokedex as they all are, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Oh, I hope he's the bad guy. I was hoping he would be the bad guy before we even knew there was an ancestral Cynthia. Just because I really want... We saw Silene and we were like, yes, more of this. <laughs> Your name is Morel, and you have a mushroom recipe. You're that girl from the Survey Corps from the sky, aren't you? As near, I need to tell you about this great cake lure recipe I invented. A mushroom cake? I call it the mushroom cake. I poured 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe, and I just know it's a winner. You're like 20 yourself. I'm getting that some applications are currently using the GPU thing again. It's like, yeah, that's how computers work. Folks around here just aren't catching on to my machine, my recipe's amazing potential. You're the talk of the village. If people see you making my mushroom cakes, famous as you are, I'm sure they'll want to give it a go, too. I'll teach you the recipe. All you have to do in return is spread the good word by using it. And you need to get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Scrounge not from the forages of thy fellows, as the old saying goes. You just made that up, didn't you? One springy mushroom's all you need. I'll be waiting. Okay, it seems I don't actually have one. Okay, alright. I'm still jumping down. Okay, good. There's a little leaks around. Doodly doop. Okay. Wee. Okay, and there's another leak over here. I want to see if this will actually work. Ah, yay, yeah, there we go. Thank you. There we go. Wee! We're pull okay, oh good, I actually can attack. Thank goodness gracious. Oh, really? Okay, come on. Then why didn't Cascoon give me options earlier? Okay, um... Hitting up to use items is really awkward. Gosh, I don't have anything to actually heal the poisoning, do I? Oh! Th there's nothing saying that it has lingering poison on it. Does it? It doesn't say.
Oh, huh. I thought there was something there. Okay. Okay, let's see. You know, I did play one Monster Hunter game. It was the one on the Wii. And I did not get very far. For one, it was, you know, it was a rental from the library. But for two... I just couldn't figure anything out. Like, everything was so complicated. Okay, there's crouching. Yeah, your buddy just disappeared. What do you think about that, huh? That was without being spotted? Really? See, she could focus on something without having to stand up, which already means she's smarter than Link. Yeah, if you use the camera in Breath of the Wild from a crouching position, you immediately stand up. I don't know why. The size difference there is pretty interesting. Is that what they mean about catching tiny Pokemon? Okay. Uh, Frick it! No! slightly hidden. See, that looks like it has a quest for me, you know? <laughs> it looks like it's standing there trying to say something to me. Oh, crap, did it see me? Uh, I guess that's like a hole in the... Do they get experience points for doing this? Stardust. Oh, yes, they do. Awesome. I wonder what happens if I throw it out, like, equidistant from, you know, a Pokemon and an item. Okay, uh, let's try Poison Sting. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Could be something good. Hey, Bidoof is looking around a lot, huh? Okay, defeated Bidoof. Get an Oranberry. And Shinx has a level up. Yay! Look at this. I can get these shoes wet and they still stay perfectly white. And I can't forward roll while I'm in the water. <laughs> Just saying, that would have been hilarious. Why are you standing all the way out here? Feeling worn out, have a rest and a tent in one of our base camps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. K 
Can I be out at night at some point? Luz? Uh, crap. Okay, I'm supposed to catch like a whole bunch. Ha! Thou shalt not escape! Marble is keeping its guard up. Poison sting! Come on. Okay, fine. So you need to use poison sting. Good. Okay, so that means I have. Sometimes you've seen it use poison sting. I can just keep doing that then, huh? Well, all right. What? Huh? Okay. Why wasn't it letting me do anything? Uh-huh, yeah. So do they just... They get rid of poison at the end of fights? Is that... Is that what goes on here? Uh, okay. Let's see. I got... A... Uh, hang on. Uh, I don't know what the okay. Um, yeah, the problem is I have to um do some stuff. Um, and a friend of mine just texted me, and I went to tell her, uh, I'm on. Right now, come join me. She said she's been wiped out the last few days, so you know. The controls are so hard to get a hold of. Okay. Number of large specimens you've caught. Okay, and I've got to see it use Aqua Jet too. And it looks like I might have an opportunity right here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Aqua Jet. Use Aqua Jet. There we go. Okay, fine. I've seen it use Aquajet. Yay! This game doesn't do a whole lot to explain things. Uh... Okay, come on. Ah! Damn it! Okay, uh, so I have to see it use Aquajet 15 times, huh? And I have to defeat 25 of them. And I have to catch 25 of them. Yeah, see I'm doing basically everything except what I should be. Okay, Cascoon's not doing too well uh, as far as hit points go. But... Okay, yeah, we've talked to that person before. But you know, I can use it to bash some trees. Okay, alright, alright, here we go. Aqua Jet! Woo! 
use it. I feel like I should do um, some of these like field assignments probably off camera. What do y'all think? There we go. Oh, that was flaring up an aura, wasn't it? Okay, so Thundershock, I think, was probably the special one I have to use. Yeah, I know it's not very effective. Arf! Okay. Awesome. Look at that draw distance. I see a, yeah, I see a, that. Okay, I didn't see the Shinx, but I saw this. Oh, there we go, there's some more stuff. Oh, hey, Wormpools. Yeah, the problem is you have to keep checking your guide and that that's just not very convenient. You know what I mean? You have to keep checking your guide for everything you need to accomplish. You know, I have to say though, I am looking forward to seeing the completionist tackle this one. Because that's gonna be really funny. <laughs> uh, I mean, he flat out refused to do uh, Animal Crossing. So, just imagine him trying to... Alright, there we go, Iron Chunk. Yes, I know! Stop giving me the same pop-ups over and over again! I know that my computer is using GPU! That's how computers work! Is this the first time it's actually turned nighttime? I guess we got a little nighttime earlier, but. Hmm. Alright, I can do this. Yay! <gasps> I probably shouldn't attempt a Snorlax just yet, should I? I'd like it if a map was up on the screen. Come on. What? Why can't... Why won't Cyndaquil come out? Why won't anything come out right now? Okay, so... Freaking Bidoof comes out, but my Cyndaquil won't? Someone want to explain to me the logic there? Okay, fixated on using rollout. It's supposed to be a multi-turn move. Oh my, hello over there. No, that's not the one I wanted to fight. Oh my god, it's actually a double battle. Okay, alright. Try to draw Drifloon's attacks. Yee 
<laughs> there we go. Ah, uh, there we go. Mm. Okay, let's keep Sterling up front. Uh, can't cross the river. I tried earlier. If my challenge is me to a battle, I'm going to be sunk, but... There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. Your ranks you should be fine. Go on, then. Don't let your guard down now. Repeat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. <sighs> Over here! This here is Mitsumi. My, my. A new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. I'm one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need solving. I need help solving. So the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? I mean, I was! And then for some reason they wouldn't come out with that Shinx, but... That's good to hear. That security core of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Yep. Yep. And I got Cascoon out. Poison Sting. Okay, good. Agile style, okay. Frick. Okay, fixated on and using rollout. Well, that's gonna be like most of my team. Okay, uh, Buizel, go ahead. Aqua Jet. Okay, yeah. Hurt by poison some more. That's good. Agile style, it's not doing much. usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well thought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? This should prove to be useful materials. You and your Pokemon fought together, or fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories of to our children. Oh. I think you're indeed the one for the job. Ray? What is with that expression? You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon deer track heights. So we have deer. We have deer. Enough to name stuff after them. Okay, I was... Okay, I, I got a notification and um, you know how I just named my character Mitsumi? 
well, I did the same in Pokemon Go. I dressed my character up in the Dawn outfit, and I gave her green hair and a mask, and I tagged the creator of the series. Um, it said, Mitsumi in Pokemon Go now. I remember your picture with masks. And tweet activity. Come on. I just got a notification. That he liked it. <laughs> the creator of DPA likes my Mitsumi shit posting. <laughs> it's a large, fearsome foe like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you? To Deer Track Heights. Hold on, I got a message from God. Is that, is that strange thing gummy of yours telling you where to go? My, my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? <clears throat> Certainly does seem to show the way to Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this bit to you. You shouldn't have any problem handling an alpha. Seems you're quite the ass if the Survey Corps knew one. Though, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? Well, that's a loaded question if I've ever heard one. <laughs> that sounds like ultra-nationalism to me. Oh, that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow, and this land of Hisui was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We, the Diamond Clan, are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokémon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh. And it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Shouldn't a lot of Pokemon then be? Follow me and you may understand. I hear creaking. over here. Oh, okay, that's one of those VV things. VV chokes! <laughs> yeah, VV choke. What happens when you find Jenny, hi! Stream shiny new game. How far are you? Um, I just met Mai 
and I found out about something called Almighty Sinnoh. Oh, hello. Um, why isn't this coming out? No, that's not the one I wanted to fight. <laughs> so you're ahead of me. Oh, I might. I, I could be. Yes. And also, my mentioned something about a legendary hero that I seem to resemble, or at least seem to remind her of. So what I'm thinking... I'm pondering something weird. Is this not the past? Is this the far-flung future? I No spoilers. No spoilers. I just want to say it so it's on record. Okay. Ah, there we go! A startled Burmy leaped out at you! Okay, um... There we go, come on. It's no good, the Pokemon escaped from the ball. Oh, dang. Um. Yes, I do. I would much appreciate it if I could. You okay with spoilers, Jenny? Cause, um... I... Uh, I think we're gonna be running into a whole bunch. Uh-oh. Okay, no, no, I just... I just want the leak. Please, just... Let me get the leak. Because I'm pretty sure everything I told you is like a pretty big spoiler too, so... Also, it seems a lot of the people of the area... Oh, <sighs> crap. Okay. You said, uh, when I asked you about spoilers. Okay. Rage on that, but I think I'll be forgiven for now. Okay, so I don't know what it is I can talk about with you. Like, I don't know what's an okay thing to say as far as everything. Like, can I talk about the scene that just happened, or... Because my seem to interest indicate something very interesting about our organization. Yeah, I'm currently just a new member of the survey course, so I don't know how far behind I am. Well, I, I've only been playing for a few hours, so. Uh, this is really, like, my first big mission, I guess. Anyway, I don't know if it's actually a spoiler or not to tell you what Mai told me. That's the thing, I don't know what's actually going to be important later on. If 
Playing dress up before heading out. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, you notice my, the shoes I'm wearing? Yeah, these are the modern shoes. <laughs> Entire outfit I quite noticed. Yes! I figure Silene probably already has a permanent headache. Why bother her even more? <laughs> um, just a little while. Apparently you can get the hairdo too. But you can't get a lot of the interesting hair colors until later. Marvelous rich tone. How is it produced? I must know. Uh, hello, I didn't see you there. You're for the Survey Corps! Wonderful! Just the person I need! I want to learn more about Cricketot. You must be curious about them, right? I mean, how do they make those sounds of theirs? It's a musical mystery like no other. I mean, you're dead if you could complete t Cricketot's page in your Rokedex and show it to me, so I, uh, I mean, we can uncover the truth. Um, okay... Okay, I have to give it food and I have to evolve one. Oh, wait. I don't want them ordered cr numerically. That's what I want to do. Okay. I was watching uh, Josh Scorcher play this earlier, and he apparently didn't have any spoilers at all. Like, not even watching the trailers. Because when he saw Silene, he his jaw just dropped. It was hilarious. He was like... <gasps> <laughs> then when he saw Volo, he was just like... <laughs> okay, come on. There we go. I wonder if I can fall. Yes, I can. My character apparently cannot freaking swim. How far along here? Okay, I am at a first or a one star rank. Gosh, I'm getting everyone in here tonight. Awesome. Come on. And I'm still getting that pop up telling me that I'm using my GPU. It's like, yes, I am aware. Oh, here we go. No wait, it's it's this one. You have to like manually evolve them. The evolution screen is freaking badass. Look at this. Look, 
Look at this for all of them! That wasn't just for the trailer! <laughs> and since we can't, like, automatically switch our team, we have to go back to the guy that can switch them for us. Oh, yeah, it's a great style. Okay. Starly is keeping its guard up. <laughs> I like that you can run around during the battle. Oh, the other one's running away. Yeah, I found out if you do it, like, close with each other, uh, you can get into double battles. Well, you still have one Pokemon out. Whoa, hold that was a level two. Rollout is weird in this game. Because they keep saying, like, fixated on using rollout, and then it doesn't. Hey, Badoof. <laughs> uh. So I have to run all the way back here. Okay, I want to see my Pokemon. I'm going to switch out Dust Ox. Hmm. Oh, I get eight pastures right now. I probably get more later on, too, huh? Let's see. Right here. Let's get Drifloom going on here. I have to find one of those mushrooms that guy was telling me about. <laughs> Come on. Try me. Now, oh, of course you did. I want experience points. Do not fall off the bridge. My character cannot swim. Oh crap. Nice tuck and roll. I know, right? Oh crap, I hit the X button by mistake. Oh, dang. Okay, I see some more tumblestone ahead of us. Let's go for this. There we go. Aha! Okay, come on. Oh, cricket tots, come on. Okay, what's over here?
Okay, another Burmy. Burmy. Okay, struggle bug. I can get behind it. And <laughs> Yeah, stop struggle bug. <laughs> I love the little the little uh, pop up you get. Ooh, I see a Geo dude. <laughs> oh there, mind helping a guy out? I'm after some cherry berries, you know them, the shiny red ones. They grow on some of the trees around here, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. That's where you come in, friend. Throw one of your Pokeballs at a berry tree and your Pokemon will grab the berries for you. Are you sure the Pokeball you throw has a Pokemon in it, mind? It'd be a shame to waste an empty ball. If you hand me three of the cherry berries you get, I'll tell you another handy tip. Yeah, I have. I have many. There we go. Thanks, now then, here's that handy tip I was talking about. You can throw a berry near well Pokemon to grab their attention and keep them distracted. Why not give it a try on some of the Krikatot around here? Did you see that they were all running from me? Okay, look, I'm not trying to get you right now. I'm trying to get trees. See, look at that, two cherry berries. You could... Bjorn, you could have just went and gone body checked it a little bit. I see you over there. What's your friend in the grass? Hmm. Oh, it's another Starly. Oh well. Yeah, you need to catch like a whole freaking bunch. Oh, <laughs> uh, ho, 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 freaking bunch. I mean, we are on a mission from Gad, after all. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yay! Move mastered. Yay! Okay, let's see. Hmm. Come on. Does anyone know if shiny Pokemon exist in this game? Because, I don't know, it kind of seems both like they would and that they wouldn't. Look at that, huh? Whoa. Okay, let's just do quick attack. I mean, might as well. There we go. Uh, you guys should have been here when I beat Cynthia last night. I 
I was so overjoyed that I I like broke down sobbing. That's it had been a really hard day for me yesterday. Thanks for because you're making that up. Yeah, shinies are kind of an odd an odd duck. I mean, yeah, you could get a glacier blue duck. Cynthia has that effect on people. Yeah, I do not remember her being that hard in the original Pearl. I mean, she was that hard in black and white, but not in the original Pearl. Oh my god. You know what else was kicking my ass was her freaking spirit tomb. Okay, come on. Garchomp didn't have that held item in here during either. Oh, what held item does it have again? I don't remember. Oh, there we go. Check that action out. There's another one. What happens if I go this way first? <gasps> oh wow, check that action out. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Yachi Berry. And uh, I don't remember what that does. Prevents against ice, is it? Because I didn't have any ice moves on my team. Oh, neat. Okay, that was a plant. I thought that was a one of those blocks of metal. Okay, come on. Yeah, it cuts ice in half. Yeah, I wasn't, uh, I didn't even have any ice moves, so I wouldn't have run into that. But yeah, um, yeah, I was having a rough day yesterday. I mean, the day before, I had spent four hours trying to beat Cynthia. Um, couldn't do it. And that was really tough. And then, um, and I heard about, uh, what had happened on the show. Because the show, I think, I mentioned had a galactic special, and we were talking about oh, Firestone, huh? Uh,. And I was excited because it was shown that, you know, the new universe actually hadn't been destroyed after all. Which is good. But then they never actually... The whole thing was the commanders were trying to bring back Cyrus and they never actually did. 
But the universe, the new universe that he brought forth is still out there somewhere. Which means he's probably okay. You know, as okay as someone can be in that situation, but... You know, people spent over a decade thinking the show had killed him off when... <laughs> I had always said it was not proven to my satisfaction! <laughs> Even then, though, you know. I don't see that special. Is that true? Uh, yeah, the, the new universe is there. It's like in a weird orb thing. And it instead of being destroyed, it just faded. So, but then it was brought back from being faded, so... I mean, then it was faded again at the end. But, you know, you know how. Uh, yeah, Saturn was, like, pleading with Arceus to bring back Cyrus, and it just ignored them. And it's like... I would... Apparently, it's, like, intentionally uh, murky, you know? <laughs> okay the menu system in this game is not very good I, I will say that wait what am I doing I can just use this yeah potions in this game are like kind of busted because they do 68 HP. Like my copy too. Oh, that's fine. Uh... Okay. Uh, raise the effort level for one of a Pokemon's stats. I, I still don't know what the hell that means. Uh... Okay, let's try Cyndaquil. Um... Let's try special attack there. And now I can pick up this firestone. Crap, 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 I'm stuck in a corner. I'm stuck in a corner. I don't want to be stuck in a corner. Uh. <laughs> oh, Parasect. Oh, it's got the red eyes. I don't want to deal with anything with the red eyes right now. Y'all. Y'all. Okay, I can get up this way. Huh. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Alright. Well, there's my... Okay, Mai herself shouldn't be a spoiler. She was in one of the trailers. But this scene is probably going to be, like, majorly spoilerific, so. Just warning ya. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us. Duh. Duh. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, all right. Oh, thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I can hardly miss out on a chance to reserve an alpha now, could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've long come to play tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. expecting it to be a Snorlax since she has the Munchlax and all and we already saw a Snorlax. I, uh... <laughs> okay! <laughs> That's not it. Okay! <laughs> Alright, can we find it anyway for the memes? It's even funnier. <laughs> That's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with its racket. They did this strictly for the reaction of streamers, didn't they? <laughs> Is it just me or does the de -le 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 part last a little longer in this? And that's what you're here for, Mitsumi, to drive that interloper from this place. And I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for the battle. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Well, I wonder alpha Pokemon to feed across the land if they're all as oversized as this one. I don't know why I keep lapsing into Australian for him. Exactly. They're not only big, though. They're strong and may know moves that others of other kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I believe you're stronger than this alpha. So go show it that, that beyond any mistaking. Be careful, Mitsumi. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. Oh, okay, that's what they are. Are we going to be getting Omega Pokemon? I'm really hoping we get some Omega Pokemon. What? Oh, I have to enter a cinematic first. <laughs> Action order. Suppose the action in which all Pokemon will take their equilibrium based on their action speed. The Alpha Cricketune is filled with wild might. Okay, A. Ember. Okay, alright. Okay, it's alright. It's alright. 
<laughs> could I have defeated? Like, could I have captured that? Ooh, can't evolve. Good. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best in Alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. Tell me about this legendary hero! Please? We'd best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off against such a foe. Ah, weird ear. What in the world? It's the great weird ear. He looks upon you with kindness, Mitsumi. I'd say the great weird deer is taking a liking to you. That is fortunate. He is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He's a blessing to us all. Remarkable, truly outstanding stuff. Pokemon letting someone ride on it. Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. They had, they had ride Pokemon in Alola at this point? Professor, I take it things went smoothly? I'm here on Captain Silene's orders. She said we'd be able to set up a base camp here once Mitsumi took care of her request. Uh, about that, I know this is a joint decision by Adam and the commander, but still, it's a truly fine fit to set up more base camps like this. The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should be allowed to also be allowed to use this land. The great Weird Deer is taking a liking to Mitsumi as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear how, how you aided us. I'll kind of show my appreciation with the proper word as soon as I can. Yay! Well, if we're to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to know them better. And the first step towards that is completing the Pokedex. The construction corps should be here soon. They'll have our new base camp pitched in no time. Do 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 do. <laughs> Wait, I thought this was supposed to be like a sacred plaza. Here we have it, a new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. We'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on. When you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to the space camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having more base camps ought to make our survey work easier, huh? You're so tiny next to me! Well, how about that? Eh, we're under the wallflower like usual! Wow, look at that. <laughs> I, I want to stay out here for a little while. Please? Please can I stay out? <sighs> Benny, I'll chow the ill usual potato mochi, please. Make it for three today as well. all day. Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzied cleaver from the rumors that ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corps has a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. I mean, the ones that still have them. 
Oh, the Clevo is reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, a further investigation is in order. The Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. Yeah, it sounds like you were trying and failed severely. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure Mitsumi here can handle things just fine. That Cleaver is said to be much, much stronger than even an Alpha Pokemon, isn't he? Now, now you forget the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information. But we, the Survey Corps, duty bound to research. It says this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique. I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. You were struggling to run up some stairs, buddy. <laughs> Rise and shine, Mitsumi! The boss wants you! Kamado, that is! Get yourself to the commander's office! You know, I, I want to save the modern jacket for, like, a special occasion. I want to save it for, like, a climactic scene or something. <laughs> I've eaten nothing but potato mochi since I got here. If I don't have some vegetables soon, I'm going to literally shit bricks. Did you get a good rest? Okay, what voice should I ever... Look who's being punctual! Finally, you realized you're wasting almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham? There you go again, insisting on your false image of almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the true almighty Sinnoh, the font of all creation and ruler of space. <laughs> You could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. <gasps> Excuse me! Are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make a vast Hisui space? Better than some! It's a miracle you showed up on time, oh mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. Where'd you get lost in the pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up? Ah, <sighs> me get lost? In Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan in our world's very basis? You wish. I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commando Commodore's office. I believe it was you who started this. Is that what counts as a religious spat in this region? Just another day with those two, I see. That man's named Adaman. He's the leader of the Diamond Clan. They put a lot of importance on time, as you can probably tell. And the girl is Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. They're all about space. You heard what she called it, right? Our world's very basis. <sighs> Whenever they run into each other, those same arguments flare up. Seems like they've inherited some bad blood from their predecessor's strife. Ah well, not our problem. Chill problems if you don't get yourself to the commander's office, Mitsumi. Oh yeah, the two of them were headed there, so I guess it is kind of your problem, huh? Hey Jenny, are you still here? Uh, 
Okay, good. Because I found him. <laughs> oh, really? There's a task for me over here, huh? Oh, neat. <laughs> a band of bothersome Bidoof keeps sneaking into the village and causing trouble. Talk to... Tsumugi from the security corps and see if you can help set things in order. Yes. Uh oh. Several people have spotted a drifloon playing with one of the village children. Miki from the security corps can tell you more. Speak with her and get to the bottom of this. Clarissa from the security corps has requested for has a request for us. Something to do with Zuban, I believe. Talk to the good lady and investigate as necessary if you please. There we go. Hey Professor, you should probably put some paper or something under this. Why is its shadow all the way over here? I wanna know what this is that a blanket folded up? Does he sleep in here? Does he sleep in here? Hey, Silene, once again, I bring terrible news about your grandchildren. <laughs> your descendants. They're, they're like... A bunch of serious assholes. It's yeah. Not just the one I was telling you about, but his parents weren't exactly a prize either. <laughs> With this you have officially attained the rank of second star in the Galaxy Expedition team. Have these as well. There for the recipes you'll need for crafting. Sky Tumblestone! All of a sudden I feel like I'm in Mystery Dungeon. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. Oh, there's someone in the beds. Can I wiggle? No, I can't. Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, splendid. You came along at a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone, you see? Would you mind lending me a hand? Needs to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots and heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting. Ah, oh, but I suppose it would be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. The best thing would be for the stone to lift itself up, actually. Oh, I have a rather good idea. There's a Pokemon called Geodude that lives on Deer Track Heights. It would be perfect for the job. Could you catch one and bring it back for me? I'll head home and wait for you there. I mean, I could probably just give you one now. I guess I don't have it on me, but... What do you intend to do about that Cleavor, Commander Commodo? He may be descended from a warrior of almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adaman. 
Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleaver is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't inter can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan's concerned. If people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats. Just like we used to be. Okay, because I was watching you guys like five minutes ago, and... Even folk of the galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems like someone's got to do something about it around here. Who, then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. We don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is the first as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm. I see you've arrived. This is Mitsumi, the newest member of our Survey Corps. Ah, I hear from Ma, you earned Weird Ear's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I'm Adam and leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. So do they... Am I the, the only person that's come out of a portal? Because I feel like I'm not. That's a mouthful. Just call me Adam and... If you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sinu was said to reside? I'm Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. That's why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study, Cleavor, before deciding what must be done? You send this stranger, who supposedly fell from the rift, to study Cleavor, this newcomer with no experience. Says the leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time, it's a matter of embracing Kasui's vastness without fear. Well, then, there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, let's give the kid her chance. Nice right, so, old commander, let's try this your way. It should be fun. Get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with those weird ways. Putting Pokemon on those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made Hisui vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Mitsumi. I already need to study Cleavor and help us find the truth of this situation. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. You know, I'd really like to try to find a way to go back home, and I don't like how you guys are just kind of... Assuming that I want to stay here. <laughs> well, that's settled, and there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleavor, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've encountered can compare to his strength, be warned. Listen to me. Those two are douchebags, but they have a point. My Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Sui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten the relations with the Diamond and Pearl clans, understand? Join me downstairs, Mitsumi. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Hang on. Why would they bring all this stuff up here? <laughs> this guy's always sitting in the corner.
I got news for you, buddy. Someone asked me to <laughs> find her a Pokemon to help with cooking earlier. Hey, Ray. Oh, I'm stopped by a cutscene. I was already in here. I walked in a second time. Ah, good, you're already here. Professor Laventon, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Mitsumi, I understand you've been requested to find out the state, God's Cleveland's frenzied state. But as you're aware by now, Cleveland is a mighty thing. Nigh invincible, even. The security Corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleveland when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. He's a far trickier opponent that even those aggressive species of Pokemon cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Very well. Then let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokémon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokémon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this cleaver. Mitsumi! We need to speak with you. Listen, that rift in space-time seems it connects this world to a whole other world. That world could be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you traveled through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it. You must have been just swimming in its divine might. Well, I got a favor to ask of you, oh amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleaver. Quell is frenzy. Well, he certainly caught us at a good time, young Adamant. We just discuss it our next steps with regard to this whole Cleaver situation. Oh, you must be that Galaxy Team scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You're in his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the Galaxy team of all people for help. The truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us off in the mountains has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleavor. Now there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still. We've all got to share Hisui, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. There aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You find Cleaver at Grand Tree a Arena. That's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit... Well, eh, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know. You know, I know that's supposed to be a flower in her hair, but it looks like Score Bunny. Oh, she's got an uh, Ursa ring on her shoulder. He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish him to or not. Oh, he's autistic. I know how to deal with that. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so I'll be counting on you. See you later! <laughs> wow, he just said his piece and then vanished. He must just value his time that much. I guess. Adam and I went wrong, you know. If you're studying perhaps even Quell Cleaver, you'll best stop visiting his abode. Now that we've got the Heights camp, it should come in handy for getting to Grand Tree Arena. Don't forget to visit the pastures. Choosing your Pokemon team carefully makes a difference. Okay. Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across? Satchel always seeming full? If that sounds like you, you'd be wise to lend me your ear a moment and hear what I have to say. I know I advised this guy earlier, but... 
You can carry around even more in that satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. I can teach you if you'd like. What do you say? I like your initiative. My teaching fee is neat. 100p. All right. Perfect. Then lend me your ear a moment. Yay. One more kind. That's all there is to it. You see how much more you can fit in by packing things rightly? Okay, yeah. Bag in? Is this a pyramid scheme? I'm willingly doing this to myself. Just imagine running in there. Silene! Is this about my supposed future descendant? No! <laughs> it's worse! <laughs> oh. I can actually just sell. There we go. <laughs> oh, goodness golly, goodness gracious. Oh, my, 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 my. Okay, move to item storage. Uh... Oh. No, no, I want to move all of them. Okay. Hmm. Crafting common goods needed for daily living to producing works of art. Am I going to be producing works of art? Key items, craft. Let's see, oh, I can make four of those. Oh, oh my, a hundred, goodness. satchel there we go why does oh okay that's why starlight keeps glowing this is just freaking badass it's amazing <laughs> oh that's so cool And, oh, how did this happen again? Look at my team. Look at my team. This is the same thing that happened in Shining Pearl. It's almost all males and one female. 
I don't know how that keeps happening. <laughs> So weird. I remember one time in Animal Crossing New Leaf, I had all girls in my town. And then at another point, I had all guys except for Melba. <laughs> Alright, if a Pokemon starts eyeing me, I'll fling an orange berry, then run while it's distracted. I'll just stick to the plan, I'll be fine. Oh, survey car girl. I was just saying, I feel it. Let's go gather tumble stones, but I haven't got as many oran berries as I'd like. You're familiar with oran berries? I mean, yeah. Eh, Pokemon tend to be very interested in them. You see where I'm going with this? Throwing oran berries is a great way to distract and avoid wild Pokemon. They're indispensable. Uh, I could, I could spare. No. Yeah. Gosh, I can't believe you we went to the tribal of finding these just for me. I had no idea you existed until like 30 seconds ago. You're nice from someone who fell from the sky. Let's just tuck these away in my satchel. I won't let your kindness go to waste. Wish me luck with those tumble stones. You gonna die. Wow, you gave me revives, huh? Okay, let's see here. Actually, I kind of like the team I have right now. Look at that! Yeah, something tells me this really isn't going to cut it when I start putting some heavy-duty stuff in here. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna need to summon. You're gonna need to summon up the spirit of Haley. And she won't be born for a few more centuries. Oh, another special parcel, huh? Parcel, huh? Okay. Okay. <laughs> and shoop, there go the shoes. Okay, it's the same kind of weird looking, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're going to walk around with this. And it's going to be good. Actually, do you have any new shoes? I'd like some new shoes. I, more! More and more and more clothes! I should probably just... Okay, yes. I would like to... A, a daffodil? Oh, can I... Uh, no wonder it won't let me wear it. Hmm. Let's see here. Fancy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They got a little puff ball on them. You got any with like a little green on them? And that's some green. Some pine. I can wear some glasses. Mitsumi doesn't wear glasses, but you know, it might go well for a. 
a costume. <laughs> she also doesn't dress like a shaman, so... Actually, I kind of like that white lily look. Oh, man. Whee! <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do in my... Those darn Bidoof. I heard you caught three different species of Pokemon in your trial. That's no mean feat. I have a job that's perfect for a high achiever like you. Say, so I need help researching... That's those pesky Bidoof again! And they just run right into town. No one stops them. I look away for one second and the little scoundrels waltz right into the village. Oh, this is awful. I'm a complete failure as a member of the security corps. How can I face Captain Zisu like this? Now get a hold of yourself, Sugurugi. Just catch the Bidoof and everything will be fine. Still, three Bidoof is a lot. Two more than I think I can handle on my own, in fact. Oh, I have an idea. I've heard that these particular pests get easily distracted if other Bidoof are nearby and end up letting their guard down around humans. So if you bring a Bidoof to draw their attention, I can seize that chance to catch the little troublemakers. Voila! The perfect plan! If we combine forces, we'll get all three caught in no time at all. Okay, well I have one in my party right now. You know, if you guys actually, like, closed the gate, I think you wouldn't really be running into some of these problems. You wouldn't be running into that problem. Oh, I could go between houses earlier, but I can't go between those, huh? Okay, come on, Bidoofies. I thought that was one ahead of me, but it isn't. Okay, what do you want? Mm. Ah, you there. You seem like someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. You think you can help me out with something? Be very, very grateful if you try to craft something using a special recipe I came up with! So without further ado, here's the recipe. Pokeshi dolls. Aww. Okay. This would be for what I've named Pokeshi dolls. Invent them to see special items that we could make in this village. I would love to have you craft one and show it to me. Looking forward to seeing what you come up with. So. We have Pokemari. We have Pokeshi dolls. Come on, where are those Bidoofs? Where are they at? You gotta be around here somewhere, yeah? Oh god, they're on the scaffolding, aren't they? Oh. But look, I can't- I can't get up. Mm -hmm. all I okay or do I have to actually track them down I 
I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, where are they? Oh, it just shows me her, huh? Doesn't give me any indication as to where they are. Someone protect these logs. I'm always hearing ambient noise. Ah, oh, there's one. Oh, I have to get close to it to start the cutscene. Chop, chop. Oh, you know what? Yeah, Jenny, I don't know if you've seen this before. <laughs> Caught it! Great going, team! <laughs> okay, there's Miki. So you've accepted my request to look into that drift loon. I can't tell you what a big help that is. Let me fill you in. We've heard reports that a drift loon was playing with one of the village children over on Prelude Beach in the evenings. It seems like odd behavior for a Pokemon, so all of us in the security corps are worried it's true and intentions were to harm the child in some way. Thankfully, all the village children were safe and accounted for when we went to check on them. But there's one curious thing. None of them seem to know anything about a drift loon. But, well... So many people from the village have reported seeing the Pokemon, we can't simply pretend there isn't an issue here. Since this calls for some investigation, I thought the Survey Corps would be our best bet. We need you to find out the truth behind the Drifloon and the child it's been playing with. It's a Pokemon, isn't it? So I gotta go there in the evening. Okay, I'm still looking around for Bidoofery. Have you seen any Bidoofs? <clears throat> uh, oof. <laughs> chomp, chomp. <laughs> Caught it. Great going, team. Hi, Clarissa of the Security Corps. That's me. Thanks for so much for taking on my request. I need you to catch a Zubat and show it to me so I can look at, take a look at its eyes. That request, I know. I have good reason for it. Zubat never really seemed to have trouble flying around in pitch darkness. That means their night vision must be top notch. If I could learn how to see in the dark like them, night shifts on guard duty would be a breeze. So I'm counting on you. Catch a Zubat and come show it to me, would you? It's weird in games that aren't first person when they go into first person mode because of the camera. What's out this way? Is this where I'm gonna find? No, there's someone there. <sighs> Listen here, Survey Corps kid, I saw the darnest thing! I was scouring the hardwood for crops so we could grow in the fields here when I saw it. This Pokemon called Cherim changed its appearance before my very eyes. It was in the evening, the light was getting dim, all of a sudden Cherim's petals closed right up so it looked like nothing but a little flower bud. Wow, I thought, I just witnessed the miracle of evolution. But the next morning, when I went to check on that Cherim, it was right back to full bloom. Why would it bloom just to close back up? Is that how evolution works, or was the change I saw something different? We finished Cherub's Pokedex entry. Let me have a look, would ya? I'm loving the ambient noise I'm getting. Is that... No, that's not a Bidoof. Okay.
Oh, come on. Could be around a fence. The back of the building, maybe? No. Not at this area. Okay. I can trade Pokemon? Oh, interesting. Okay, you little Bidoof bastard, where are you? Supposed to be one more. You're the new Survey Corps recruit, are you? Well, good luck with it all. I was just down this way, wasn't I? where the first one was. Second one was at the end of the fence. Hmm. A gatekeeper named Dorian. I immediately do not trust you. Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes. I know the professor said they do, but I'll have a hard time believing it unless I see different sized ones lined up side by side. They're really a weasel bigger than mine. I'd love to see them alongside the one I have, for comparison's sake. What? You're natural when it comes to catching Pokemon, right? I bet you see where I'm going with this. If you catch a weasel bigger than mine, would you let me have it? I'll make it worth your while. Okay, come on. You guys just gotta tell me if you see any freaking. freaking Bidoofs. You Survey Core lot are amazing. I mean, you catch all these strange Pokemon like it's nothing. Oh, you're from the Survey Core. Well then, can you tell me how Pokemon make themselves so tiny? You young sprouts can't hold a candle to me, but I'll leave the surveys to you, Missy. Everyone has problems and worries of their own. You should lend an ear to the people you meet. Yeah, you guys all kind of gave me the brush off when I first entered town. I haven't exactly forgotten that. Oh, wow, it's 8.42 and my mom's just getting home. Was that... What? Y yeah, I know. Okay, come on. Where is the three doof? If it's actually up there, I wonder why they won't let me climb the ladder. Mm. 
But see, why would the one be so far from the other ones? Is what I'm wondering. Gonna explain the easier fields to help feed all the new folks coming to the village. It's tough picking berries out in the wild, so I'm hoping we can grow them here instead. Oh god, I hope so. Oh, crops grown for me. No, it's how uh, the yield will be. We'll give it our all. What kind of harvest are you interested in? Uh, apricot harvest. Sure. I hope this means it'll grow different kinds. Okay, so I caught one. Uh, if there's a place you're hoping to visit, you ought to stretch out your map and put a pin in it. Really? Okay. Did I miss it if it was on the other side of the fence? Nope. There's no wiggly little bidoofs over here. You know, honestly, I think real beavers are more intimidating than a bidoof could ever be. They're a lot bigger, for one. And even then, I'm still pretty sure I could just herd one out of the out of the thoroughfare. Okay, I've been stopped. How are things, my good friend? I certainly hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique I taught you to good use. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. Oh, think nothing of it. Having the Survey Corps out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know. Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. <laughs> and now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. That's great. I'm looking for Bidoofs. Have you seen any? Maybe this person's seen some. Are they looking at the water wheel? I'm pretty new to the village myself. I try to talk to everyone I meet, so I always learn something new. Okay, no. Ah, uh, the Bidoofs are not looking at the water wheel. Come on, it's gotta be around somewhere. Okay, maybe uh Sisu was in something. Uh I've got a question. Have you seen any Bidoofs? Uh I'm looking for Bidoofs. Please, game, let me tell her that I am looking for Bidoofs. There isn't a part of town that I'm missing, is there? No oh, protective charms. Uh... Hmm. 
Okay, mysterious powers of the Trine Guardian. Type of charm comes in five different colors. A am I going to have to collect all of them? Or does it, like, for di if, is it for different status effects? Like, it looks like I got a purple one, so does that mean it protects me from poison? Whoa, 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 whoa. Could it? Oh, there it is. I was thinking, could it be in my house? <laughs> Caught it. Great going, team. And we're just going to work back to the... Nice work. That puts all the little troublemakers safely in our custody. Now to give them the old heave-ho. Hold on! It'd be a shame to just send those Badoof back to the wild, no? My construction corps could find a use for them. You want to keep them? These naughty nibblers have caused so much trouble for the construction corps. And they're just Pokemon being Pokemon. How are they supposed to know our village is a strict no chewing zone? Just good taste on their part to come all the way here to gnaw on our woodwork, too. <laughs> but if they're gonna stay here, they'll have to help with our work. They got the guts to keep trying to get into the village, plus the teeth to gnash through trees and rocks. Just what our core needs. How about it, little ones? Meals taste better after a day's work, you know. Ooh! Just what I wanted to hear. I'm not convinced this lot have it in them to do an honest day's work. But if Sank was watching over them, I'm sure it'll work out all right. I guess that's settled. Thanks again for your help. <sighs> Yay! Oh, a rare candy! My goodness. All right. Well, it's coming up on nine o'clock. Okay, I want to see what what's over this way. I do want to play this on my own for a bit. Um, I'll try not to get, not to get into any uh, story sections. Oh my, they want me to go all the way over there, huh? I don't want to get in a battle, okay? I will if I have to! Oh cool, that took it out of its attack animation. <laughs> Fixated on using rollout. Oh, wow, I took damage on that one. Yes. I think I may need multiple Geodes. Mm. <laughs> oh, no! Um, okay. Fight! There you go. Ball of mud, okay. Uh, this may not be. Oh, there. Okay, I can just run down the wall there. Oh, I didn't notice this person before. Galaxy member. 
I hear there are Pokemon you can only spot at night. And sometimes they'll just appear quietly with no warning. Pretty creepy if you ask me. Just a little while. But in the meantime, we are going to try to remember how the hell to save again. Uh, there. Okay. I'm going to do that. We're going to go raid someone. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, we're going to raid T-Spade. She's playing Link to the Past. Uh, we raided her last night. Um, she's always a lot of fun. Should be good. All right. I will, um, I want to thank everyone for joining me. It's always fun when people join me, you know? It's, I, I really get a lot of okay. satisfaction out of that. Alright, now let's raid. Say it's still? Okay. Okay, so I need a small key here. 